so it's time for the time in the show. Time, time. We've got 60 seconds. Uh, Dami's got 60 seconds to talk about. Mm -hmm. an, Dami, Dami's oh, you. To talk about an emerging designer or creative that you've shit. been loving in 60 seconds. Shit. On the dot, on no. the clock, go. Wait, wait, I'm not even ready. You know me so well. <laughs> I'm not ready. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Who is it? So there's an artist called Marcus Alvarado. Mm. I have to say it like that because he comes from Puerto, Puerto Rico. Gee, yeah. And also, the type of artist he is, he's someone that's going through his own spiritual journey and he expresses that through his art. A lot of people, um, not just within the art space, but also athletes, musicians, different people have bought his artwork and have also bought his pieces as well, like his clothing line, because he's also got one called MBM and it pretty much depicts the spiritual journey that he goes through. What Everyone kind of colours is he? What kind of colours? Uh, in terms of his palette, he, he's very, he, he uses very bright colours. Mm. That's what I'll say. It's almost like psychedelic in the way that he depicts the images that mm. he's going for. Kind of sounds like this it's guy's on mushrooms. This guy's on. He sunlight. could be like honestly. <laughs> this guy's on sunlight. I like it. You don't even I need really mushrooms. Do. I swear you can just like, look at his artwork and just get high off that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting high off the description. That's what I'm like. Yeah, he must have been yeah. on something else when he's creating this art. Same so. in sixty seconds. You know I don't know if that was 60 seconds. It was, it was a bit longer, but I just felt bad. It was like 60 seconds and 30. I can give seconds. you guys a quick look at one yeah, of his on, works. So oh, wow. Yeah, okay, yeah, he's definitely on mushrooms. We love it. Do you it. get what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like yeah. This man's got real. Like, there's grids, there's. There's a, and one thing, blues. there is a lot of colour, and I feel like one thing about his artwork is definitely depictive of, like, you know, like how we really feel as human beings. Mm. Yeah, like yeah. I feel like his art describes that. So for example, you know, like a connect, you know when people say stuff like twin flame, you know, like I feel like his artwork, he would make that very representative in a picture just for yeah. you to know it off the bat. It's, it's really a nice, lot of strong contrast, mm. juxtaposition. This is lit. You can see he likes the idea of the galaxy. Yeah. He sees the world or something. Well done, Dame. Thank you. First, Thank first you. one on the first app doing the first spotlight. Oh, guys, I well. don't like Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for listening to Before the Hype. If you've enjoyed the show, make sure you guys stay in contact with us. Comment, subscribe, hit the notification button, and yeah. let us know what other platforms you're listening from. I know this is not the only place you want to see us. So, yeah, get involved with us on those socials at Before the Hype Show, YouTube, Spotify. We want to know what you're thinking. Are you a spray on gene kind of person? Oh, tell me about it. Because uh, <laughs> tell us. Shit, I'm not leaving this one down here. <laughs> <laughs> and also, make sure to stay locked in every single week. We're going to have episodes for you, content for you. So, yeah. Out. Appreciate you. Later. Okay, See yeah. you next week, sweetie. Bye, guys. <laughs>